President Trump's new lawyer says a personal financial disclosure removes any suspicion that the president broke campaign finance law in connection with Stormy Daniels. The document confirms the president reimbursed attorney Michael Cohen between $100,000 and $250,000. Cohen paid the adult film star $130,000 to keep silent about an alleged affair with Mr. Trump in 2006. The president denies having sex with Daniels. Just last month, he said he knew nothing about the payment. Paula Reed is at the White House with the admission that critics say should have been revealed last year. Paula, good morning. Good morning. This disclosure comes after weeks of contradictory statements from the president and his attorneys about that payment to Stormy Daniels. While the president's attorneys say they disclosed this in the interest of transparency, the Office of Government Ethics says actually it was required. The president disclosed everything he could disclose. President Trump's attorney Rudy Giuliani told Fox News that he doesn't believe the president's financial disclosures are a liability. We're very comfortable with it, and we think it, it, it vindicates our original strategy, also vindicates the fact that Mueller should now bring this to a close. President Trump has previously denied knowledge of the payment. Did you know about the But earlier this month, Giuliani first revealed to Fox News the president paid Cohen back. Some Stormy Daniels woman, 130000 I mean, which is going to turn out to be perfectly legal. Brendan Fisher works at the bipartisan watchdog Campaign Legal Center. President Trump's financial disclosure report is effectively an admission that $130,000 in debt was omitted from last year's report, failing to report a debt on a report like this is a violation of federal law. Along with the financial disclosures form, the Office of Government Ethics sent a letter to Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein, flagging the update in case it was relevant to any inquiry the Justice Department may be pursuing. The Office of Government Ethics says the letter should not be seen as a criminal referral, and it was simply providing information to the Justice Department. But there are still outstanding legal questions about the Daniels payment. It very much appears that the payment was made for the purpose of influencing the 2016 election, and with that come potential campaign finance violations. The Daniels payment doesn't appear to have anything to do with Russia, so it's unlikely that any investigation into that payment would fold into the Mueller probe, despite Giuliani's insistence on trying to link the two. But both Mueller and the Justice Department have said that they don't believe they have the authority to indict a sitting president. What they do have the authority to do, though, is refer any evidence of criminal wrongdoing to Congress for possible impeachment proceedings. Fianna? That financial statement just raises more and more questions. Paula, thank you.